Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 live cast. Looks like we got a TVZ here on Whirlwind <clears throat> versus a Zerg opponent. <laughs> Not enough minerals. So this map isn't bad if it's adjacent positions. Unfortunately, this is one of the maps I have Not to put on my thumbs up list because there's all the new maps are really bad for my strategies. Not enough minerals. Um, but with that said, if it's Jason positions, okay. And I'm gonna check cross map. So uh, even if it's cross map, at least I get an eBay block out of it. I mean, other maps I get good positions and an eBay block, but uh, not so much on this one. Not enough minerals. Oh, I built this to go too early. Not enough minerals. Bad news. Okay. You're the boss. Yep. Not enough minerals. What's going on? Not enough minerals. We're to line up these SCVs too. Huh? SCV ready. Yeah. Ah! You scared me! Big job, huh? SCV ready. Okay. Huh? SCV ready. So, What's going on? he's not there. So we'll just find out his position come back home. So that means he has the Jason position. SCV ready. Ah! You scared me! Bad news. SCV ready. SCV ready. Build the barracks. Yes, sir. Double gas gas. I found out where he's Go located. Ahead. Come back home. In the rear Not with the gear. SCV ready. I guess I could check his gas. Yeah, yeah. Not enough minerals. This doesn't really affect much what I do, but I have an idea of what he's up to. So he's just That's starting gas ready. mining now. I think I'd just rather come home and get the money. Ah. Me. This information doesn't really help me out too much for what I'm doing. With the gear. SCV ready. Additional supply depots required. Uh, so the other thing is this ramp is very hard to defend on this map, so I got it build my structures a little bit differently and even then it's weaker than a typical insufficient vespine gas uh, TVZ map for me insufficient vespine gas insufficient vespine gas upgrade complete go ahead go 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 yeah who wants SCV ready What's going on? SCV ready. So transfer CVs. Upgrade complete. SCV ready. Joe, in the rear with you. Ah! You've been waiting on you. Oh. SCV ready. SCV ready. What's 
going on? Well, butter my ready. biscuit. Yeah. So he doesn't have any spotters out. Armed and ready. By the numbers, boys. Gangway. But he has a lot of units. Map hack's gotten a lot more popular lately, unfortunately. I'm not sure if it's this that's the case or not. This better be good. SCV ready. Been waiting on you. Feelings in the back, I get to pop them off. Add-on complete. Just to get the command centers out faster. State your request. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Go ahead. Not enough minerals. Yes, sir. Ah, Additional supply me. depots required. The one thing I never got was a uh, high ground bunker. You could have broke me with those big your dime. roaches. SCB ready. Scanning battlefield conditions. Armed and ready. Bad news? 
Insufficient Vespine gas. Upgrade complete. Not enough either. Awaiting orders. Right away. SCV ready. In the rear with the... Upgrade oh. complete. SCV ready. Feelings. Order accepted. Underway. SCV ready. It's funny, I thought he was mount hacking. No, he gives me mount hacking. Okay, so we can take a quick look at that game. So the place where I saw his bailings is actually a place I wanted to take my next expo at, and that gives me a really good um, springboard, as I like to call it, towards my attacks. So if I can get this base, um, you know, it means I have a safe zone here, like PFs and turrets, and I can easily just push in and do a harass and come back, and works out pretty well. I mean, obviously this is probably my only attack angle, but so close, I'm almost guaranteed to do damage on every harassment. Missed that overlord somehow. Oh wait, I haven't sent out a uh, Viking yet. <laughs> Too early in the game. What did he cancel there? Producing spines. Did you see me coming? No. He's producing a bunch of links and spines at the same time. You know, they say people who, um... People who, like, cheat on their spouses are more likely to accuse their own spouses of cheating. It's just kind of, if it's something you do, you, you, you think your partner's doing it. I wonder if it's kind of that case here. I wonder if he's map hacking against me. And that's why he kills me a map hack. Because if he's taking a quick look, you should see this is the, the weak point here. I mean, ideally I want a bunker up here as well. Um, otherwise, he can just kind of bust through the sea bay really quickly and get in. I still have to come over here to repair, but within... A uh, uh, bunker here, full of marines, and one here, full of marines. This eight marines shooting on the ramp. And both bunkers are pretty protected. So this is a really horrible move by him. He had a lot of bailings when he came in here. He's got 14 bailings. He can just roll them back here and kill off all these SCVs, and then probably have the roaches take on the DF. But watch what he does with the bailings. They all get stuck behind the roaches, and I get to get to focus them. Pop. <laughs> Pop, pop, pop. I was under five bailings. Got that one too. I don't think a single SCV got hit by bailing. At this point, that wall is kind of working against me. I'm just trying to get to the far side of the PF so the boats don't naturally hit me. I did realize he's attacking that bunker a little too late. I could have easily saved that. But for the most part, that's a pretty good hold. He's a little bit ahead in Harvester Count and taking his third base, but he's not nearly as far ahead as he should be. 10 minute mark, he could easily be over 70 drones if you're macroing, if you're going economy really hard. 
So I guess that Viking did get that Overlord. A little bit worried about this creep strike into this base before I take it. I should probably emphasize taking a fourth base faster when I play on this map. And this Viking's not going to catch anything because he doesn't really have any map awareness on the left hand side. So just throws away these mutas. Okay, PVs, auto turrets, and missile turrets completing, and he just sits over all of it. So the harvester count is still really low. Well, I guess he just hit 75 now, but still. Uh, this is a lucky catch. I mean, sorry, map hack. <laughs> Uh, seeing the Bailings morphing, um, look, lucky for him, they're all spread out, right? I'm looking at them, I'm looking for the big Bailing clump, and there isn't one. I guess right here is a decent one. So that's where I seek her at. I'm forcing him to cancel all the Bailings at least. So he's going to come in here with basically no Bailings. And I get to hold at the same time and take down his Nat. So we'll have been three base on three base with units lost to have well in my favor. I think if you're barcode, you're a little more likely to cheat too. Or if we can tell, I, I think map packs on a lot more sophisticated, so you can't really do it by their vision. You know, one thing Nari looks a little bit weird. Oh, I guess he stopped that overlord there. Never mind. I was about to say he sent his first two overlords on my base, but he didn't. Yeah, he is map hacking. He never even scouted he never scouted this location. Why would you hang an overlord here without knowing that's where I'm located? <laughs> that's funny. This is for vision of drops, but then I don't know, I think here would be good enough for that. No, he's gearing up to hit my base without knowing where I'm located. Okay, so definitely map hacker. <laughs> Interesting. Anyways, with that, we'll call it the end of this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Check the description for a thumbs up link, and goodbye.